This is a Photoshop tutorial in 30 seconds or so, brought to you by tutvid.com. When the dehaze feature was introduced to Photoshop, or really Camera Raw, um, when the dehaze feature was introduced to Camera Raw, it came with a lot of hype. Everybody was really excited about it. It's a really, really powerful tool, and it's great, obviously, for cutting through fog and haze and rain and, and all kinds of stuff like that. But you can use it on, you know, regular photos as well as I'm going to show you here. I'm going to right-click on this photo, make sure it's converted to a smart object, which it is. But then you're going to, well, then what I'm going to do is use the hotkey, Command Shift. This would be Control Shift on the PC. Command Shift A. So Commander Control Shift A. That's going to bring up the Camera Raw Editor, which I'm going to move into screen here. And now in the Camera Raw Editor, we can hit the FX tab, and we've got our dehaze slider. Now. If we reduce, obviously we add haze, which actually can be kind of a cool atmospheric effect, but I'm interested in dehazing here, getting rid of haze. And you can see we're, we're adding a really interesting kind of contrast. It's almost like what I wish the clarity slider was, is what dehaze is doing here. Now that we've done that, we can actually drop some of the vibrance just because we're getting a crazy amount of saturation. We can maybe boost uh, exposure a little bit. You can even adjust and throw a little bit more uh, orange in the temperature slider there. I'm going to bump it up to five, something like that. Like that uh, maybe add a little bit of green by making that negative five as well hit okay and it's gonna bring it back into Photoshop and you can just see a quick before and after so just the dehaze slider is not only for dehazing per se you can also use it for these great tonal adjustments as you can see I've done here with this landscape photo that really didn't need to get rid of any haze but we still boosted and beautified the contrast and just that tonal grit that richness and that's it get it got it good Nathaniel Dodson, tutvid.com. I'll catch you in the next one.